Hi, my name is David Ngugi and I'm a senior developer here at Andela Kenya. Accessible designs are designs that are suitable for everyone, regardless of disability. In this video, we are going to look at common best practices to use in your designs to suit people living with color blindness. The world is becoming an even more digital place, with many services such as voting being accessible on your mobile device or computer. These services cater for millions and even billions of people on a daily basis. All these people are all individually unique. These people include people living with disability or an impairment, such as blindness, deafness, muscle paralysis, or even cognitive disorders. This hinders a person's ability to navigate user interfaces on an application. So it is therefore important for you to learn the principles of accessibility to cater for such persons. A colorblind person is a person who has a deficiency in their vision. This causes a difficulty in distinguishing different colors. There are different types of colorblindness, but the two main ones are blue and yellow or red and green. Colorblind individuals may find it difficult differentiating between buttons, links, or text on an application. Now, have a look at the image on your screen. The colors on the left show how a person with normal vision sees the world, but the image on the right shows how a person with red-green color deficiency sees the same colors. You can now understand the challenges faced by people living in colorblindness on a day-to-day -day basis. So how can we design our applications in order to suit people living with colorblindness? This can be done in two ways. One, using symbols and patterns. Two, having proper use of contrast ratios and dimming. Symbols and patterns help distinguish between similarly colored elements on a page. This include graphs and charts. This chart shows the percentage points for each team in a tournament. It seems simple enough, but a person who is colorblind may find it difficult to interpret it appropriately, especially if there were no labels. Here is the same chart but complemented using patterns. This helps a colorblind person easily differentiate the elements of the chart as opposed to just using solid colors. Here is another example of a drop-down showing common patterns that you can use in your designs to complement the colors you choose. It is also good practice to ensure you accurately label all diagrams, charts and images to avoid any confusion. Now, on to contrast ratios and dimming. Another way of ensuring that your designs are understandable is by using a good contrast ratio in your elements such as text, buttons and menus. This ratio is the ratio between the foreground text color and the background color and is well defined by guidelines such as the Web Content Accessibility Guideline. In order to do this effectively, you must make use of good color schemes or a theme for your application. This ensures consistency throughout the app and helps create a map of actions as the users interact with it. It also helps them interpret what a specific button or icon means. Can you know that you must always keep in mind that symbols or icons must always be accompanied by the relevant text or may otherwise be misinterpreted? In this video, you have been able to learn why it's important for you to think about accessibility when designing user interfaces. You have also realized some of the challenges faced by colorblind users while navigating user interfaces on a day-to-day -day basis and how effective use of colors, patterns and contrast can make your designs more accessible. As a designer or developer, you must always have a user-first attitude. Not all users are alike, but they expect your designs to work for them in a fluid and natural manner. I urge you to go back, look at your designs and consider what you have learned today. This topic is fairly wide, but I've dropped some links where you can find further information in the description. You can find me on Twitter for any further comments or questions right here. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and also that like button in order to get more information from Mandela.